Hi, this is Seema Raj, and get ready for the dose of flares in Seema, jiski koi Seema nahi. We are diving into the world of influence with the fabulous Vidya Tiwari. From fashion inspo to footy adventures, this one's a game changer. हेलो हाय आय हाय मैं हूँ तुम्हारा सिर्फ तुम्हारा आर जी अनिरुद्ध आपके लिए जरवानी और पीले टॉप वाली तेरा नाम तो बता नाम तो बता तेरा नाम तो बता ऑरेंज टीशर्ट वाले तेरा काम तो बता काम तो बता तेरा काम तो बता बता रहा हूँ आज का एपिसोड ना हेलो पहले तुम नाम बताओगी फिर मैं काम बताऊंगा सीमा जिसकी कोई सीमा नहीं हाय 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 क्या बात है हम हर हफ्ते हर शो में लेकर आते वो मुद्दे वो मौजू उन्हें वहां तक ले जाते जिनकी कोई सीमा नहीं क्या बात है तो भाई अब आज का एपिसोड विच इज हाउ टू बी अ फैशन एंड फूड इन्फ्लुएंसर तो सबसे पहले तो ये बताओ कि जब तुम बड़े हो रहे थे हु आर यू इन्फ्लुएंस बाई मी जली एज अ पर्सन एंड फैशन वाइज Zinat Aman, yeah, a lot. Bell bottoms, yeah. And my father used to uh, make lot of bell bottom pants uh-huh. because one of my mama's friend mm-hmm. uh, used to work in ship, Achha. and he used to come back with terrilin and all those clothes. And I always had a tailor made clothes. Papa used to uh, make lot of bell bottoms, uh-huh. and I mean kurbani and all other things. Like the oomph she had. Kurbani me to bikini bhi pehna tha. Oh yeah, of course. Actually, me kabi bikini aise pehna hai. And would your and would your parents have family would have approved of it? Like especially just a two piece hai. I never tried, but swim swimsuit to maine pehna hai. Haan. Kabi mana nahi kiya. But two piece tum jis tarah se bol rahe ho, usse nahi pehna bhi tha. Not like mocha nahi laga. Not like kurbani style. But if I get a mocha, maybe I will wear. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course, I love it. Fantastic. New Year resolution. Yeah, yeah, of course. उसके बाद हमारी जो आएगी ना इसमें one episode भी देखेंगे. And uh, who else? Uh, as a person, who influenced you at that time? Person from film industry was saying. Ah, uh, you know, I was that time I was in Kolkata basically. Apurna Shen used to really impacted me a lot. I mean, as a person. Uh, person who is very smart well educated from south point where i couldn't go and the way she used to write in sananda i used to read a lot of sananda and i think that is the time that if you truly say that women empowerment in that way coming up she was very uh, upbeat she was very modern she was one of the uh, actress from bengal who could speak many languages You, you also told me about Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep from West. Uh-huh. First of all, it I introduced to Meryl Streep later and later on after uh, going to National School of Drama, because then I started watching all those movies, and I started reading. I have a habit of reading their past. I read that she was not accepted in Hollywood because people used to think that she is ugly duckling. And when I see her movies, she is such a phenomenal actor. How many Oscars she has won? And like a female actor, I mean, she got many many Oscar, and her films are like wonderful. So one thing, of course, she and Sophia Loren. Really? Well. Yeah, because you know her life story also. Like she was refused to do any plastic surgery at that point of time. Though she was very tall, and she had won some pageant also, and on her own terms, she started getting work in. And you know, believe me, I've seen her two movies. Mm. One is Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow, mm. and two women. As an actress, also she's so fascinating, and her legs are so beautiful. And uh, somebody asked her, "What you do?" She said, "From set to home, I walk miles, 
and that's why her legs were like that so these are very encouraging stories you know acha from sophia loren to jaya prada ye kaise i'm an indian mm. i would love indian stars isn't it i cannot just see hollywood stars and feel gaga about me but jaya prada was generally considered jab 80s mein aayi she herself was very beautiful of very course beautiful. but she of course came on all those uh, dhinchak maqsad and mawali and uh, tofa yeah, yeah. to jaya prada ka kyun because that kind that times of film were, were like that only you know but what mesmerizing is that chemistry with jitender and jaya prada she used to dance very well and the south indian sarees she used to wear is beautiful sargam sargam yeah all yeah. all even tofa sure, everywhere yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, sargam was like uh, yeah and tofa 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 <laughs> naya 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 so all those very fond memory of uh, south indian stars coming and doing in so jab us time jab to bade ho rahe the to kajal chudiya in cheezon ka influence rehta ki main kajal iski tarah lagaungi iski tumhara kaisa hai mera eyeliner i have used to follow jay prada really yeah yeah of course like i remember my mother she was a huge matlab and unki wajah se main ban gaya रेखा फैन और 70s में रेखा की वो जो साड़ियाँ होती थी वो बिल्कुल प्रिंटेड साड़ीज ब्यूटीफुल घर पिक्चर में आप देखो उन्होंने जो और पूरा तब उनका मेकओवर ही हो गया था लेकिन वो फ्रॉम वह रामपुर का लक्ष्मण हाउस इट चेंज एंड लुक एट हर स्टाइल इन सिलसिला वो बिल्कुल लंबे खुले बाल और द साड़ीज अच्छी वोर इन दैट एंड दस चूड़ीदार एंड ओ माई गॉड लाइक ऑल टाइम एंड इफ यू नोटिस रेखा हमेशा दिस आई रिमेंबर एज ए गाय आई डोंट नो हाउ आई नोटिस दिस बट एंड शी आई थिंक सेलिन इंटरव्यू कि वो हमेशा जो बिंदी थी वो हमेशा यहाँ लगाती थी तुम कभी नोटिस करो रेखा कभी सेंटर में नहीं लगाती थी वो हमेशा दैट आई लर्न फ्रॉम हिंदी फिल्म आई ऑल्सो पुट किया हुआ Yeah. Yeah. Small bindi, big bindi. Churis. Churis. Yeah. And I think that point of time, lots of, uh, you know, glass bangles used to uh, be very prominent because it's swagan ka wo sab hota tha na. And I used to drink that. I'll wear those. You know, funny things. But I still love glass bangles. Yeah. 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 I used to go to National School of Drama and on the go, you know, station me. I think Fatehpur Sikri or Firozabad. Firozabad station me. औरतें आती थी चूड़ियाँ लेके इन वेरिएबली मेरे पास दस रुपया भी होता तो मैं चूड़ी खरीद खरीदती थी आज भी मेरे घर में इतने सारे ग्लास बैंगल्स हैं आई थिंक दोस्त लुक स्टनिंग एक यूनिक स्टाइल फैशन स्टाइल जो तुम्हें तुमने खुद क्रिएट किया अपना कॉम्बिनेशन मतलब खुद का यूनिक कॉम्बिनेशन किसी से लेकर नहीं खुद का सबसे पहले जो बाल काटा और क्या ऑफकोर्स इट वॉज ऑफकोर्स समथिंग जस्ट हैपन वी वर डूइंग डिफरेंट स्टाइल एंड द लास्ट स्टाइल इट वॉज गुफ्ट अप यू नो something went very wrong so i had no other choice but to do a pixie cut and this style came back and, and it's my style it's very cute yeah. everybody says that yeah yeah but us zamane mein jab tum bade ho rahe the to wasn't this whole thing ki lambe baal like you know aurton ka hamesha ek hota tha lambe baal especially you come from bengal yaar to calcutta mein to kya beautiful baal to wo pressure tum pe nahi tha my papa has actually groomed me in a very different way yeah he used to think i'm his uh, boy तो मुझे ज्यादातर मेरा बॉब बॉब का डेयर होता था देन लेटर ऑन आई स्टार्टेड बिकॉज आई रिमेंबर रेखा स्टाइल लंबे घने बाल आई हैव ऑलवेज फॉर मी दैट वाज द एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ जैसे होता ना एक इंडियन नारी लाइक आज तक वो एक होता है स्पेशली साउथ मूवीज में तो अभी भी है बाकी इनमें चेंज हो गया ट्रेंड लेकिन साउथ फिल्मों में अभी भी जाओ तो द हीरोइंस हैव लंबे बाल ओनली जैसे कि आई रिमेंबर जब हम एट्टीज में शिफ्ट हुए कैनेडा तो उस टाइम में वो पंख वाले बालों का था नहीं वो बिल्कुल वो वो ऐसे बाल थे बिल्कुल लिटरली वो वो कांटे जैसे हाँ वो पोकर होते थे तो माई माधव यू से यू नो थोड़ा दूर हटके चलो जैसे पता नहीं ड्रग्स लेते हैं नहीं तो एक होता है कि एम्बॉडीमेंट होता है कि एक इमेज हो जाता है इवन इन कैलकाटा इवन इन बेंगाल ऑल द हीरोइंस है बिग हेयर्स अपूर्णा सेन इज टू हैव कट हेयर एंड डू दोज स्टाइल्स यू नो सो आई आई लव लॉन्ग हेयर एंड आई केप्ट इट आफ्टर दैट लाइक Twelfth and twelfth standard, I started keeping them, but it was unmanageable. I used to get very restless about that. I was in NSD then also. That there's a very funny incident that one of my senior in NSD, you know the name. I'm not taking right now. She might be coming in the show. So she used to look at me and say, "Something has to do with your hair, you know. I think your hair will give you a look." So I have lot of this thing. What should I do with my hair, you know? So when I came to Mumbai, then slowly, slowly I started doing. many haircuts mm. and landed up like this 
वन यूनिक स्टाइल यू आर टेलिंग मी विद दैट यू क्रिएटेड योर सेल्फ कपड़ों में फॉर एग्जाम्पल माई फैशन फैशन सेंस है चेंज कम्प्लीटली हाँ सर बीस साल में कैसा तुम्हारा अब बहुत चेंज हुआ है अब पहले कोई स्टाइल था ही नहीं एक्चुअली नो यही ऑफकोर्स आई टोल्ड यू आई एव ओनली थ्री स्कर्ट्स एंड यू नो टू जो भी मिलता था पहन जाती थी मैं एंड पापा इज टू वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट अदरवाइज यू नो बाकी स्टाइल नहीं कर सकते थे कपड़े सिलवा देते थे टू डे ऑफकोर्स आई हैव अपडेटेड माई सेल्फ एंड आई वेर क्लोथ्स विच गिव्स मी जॉय सो टेल मी टू और थ्री फैशन एक्सेसरीज विच आर अ मस्ट फॉर यू आई वेर लॉट ऑफ रिंग्स Yeah, and I wear a lot of hoops. Really, I wear a lot of hoops. Hoops, I definitely wear. I love to wear hoops yeah. all the time, and I don't wear much jewelry, but hoops, of course. Yeah, any other fashion fashion accessory? Belt. Yeah, because it gives a de- definition to the vest. Well, no, no one more. Huh. I wear a lot of anklets. Ah, in one leg. So now we're about to meet a star guest. who is uh, who's been a fashion designer fashion stylist and now she's also a food critic wo kya kya nahi hai she's the empress of all trades and we're going to be talking an empress se yaad aaya ki they they met actually thanks to uh, empress of the nation yep right the mrs india pune mein jo uh, contest hua tha mrs india ka and she was the judge to take me in yeah. one of the judge i was the finalist because she also liked me while interviewing so our uh, star guest today is truly the empress of all trades i would say you know she is somebody who is uh, well the ex editor of citadel curries trophy which was his very very uh, fancy uh, food and nightlife magazine she's been a fashion stylist and designer since 2003 associated with femina uh, pune and uh, midway through her incredible career she also realized that she's one of those uh, live to eat kind of people so she decided to have her own food blog and now she's a food critic for pune times mirror i mean what an incredible fashion and food ek saath uh, so impressed by raj hame fashion aur food in two parts apni vidya pradan karne aa rahi hain vidya tiwari such a pleasure pleasure is all mine thank you for having me yeah man i mean acha so this what you want is this your own creation or what is this no it's just something i've put together it's styled really but incredible. not my own creation yeah no definitely. but this is really beautiful so thank i you. so th- so is a, is black a color that uh, i love black yes i mean yeah yeah it's something that i'm very comfortable in and you know i mean uh, i don't know people say that you know you shouldn't be wearing too much black it's it shows your soul is that dark <laughs> i don't really care <laughs> because but i love the color but so what do you, what does black define for you as a color when you wear it comfort i think that's what it defines for me so my wardrobe is white black and gray okay yeah most of it is going to be black white gray i think i live in in you know monotones it definitely makes you look slimmer that's for sure it is yeah i i agree that you know black is something that will hide all your flaws so of course everyone wants to wear black but some people are just very comfortable with that yes. color this is incredible so tell me your fashion influences when you were growing up my fashion she told me jaya prada se lekar sofia lauren and zina taman so i need to know I mean, yours yes of course zina taman you know when she came on to the screen or when she you know like when she was she was reigning queen of fashion definitely when you were growing up uh i think for me it's more about classical uh, classic fashion so audrey hepburn grace kelly were my fashion icons you know i mean and they they're still my fashion icons i think i love the kind of simple dresses very straight uh, the i believe in cuts that suit your body type and i don't believe in too much of um, what do i say you know i mean very loud or or uh, you know too much attention seeking no but like something that's put together nicely so which means that cancels out karishma kapoor from the 1990s <laughs> and all the 90s ki jitni bhi with that time that was a very loud era that when you when you grew the up the hairstyles oh my god like if you look at those hairstyles today yeah you're like Shizhi, you know there's khosla ka khosla on your head look at shilpa shetty you remember she had yes. the red hair yes pura red hair wala unhone kiya tha i still remember for zameer unki ek picture thi and lots of pink used also at that point yeah, of time yeah. Yeah. shocking pink frilly dresses unke baad frilly dresses hote the that right. i remember yeah all frill or lots of frills yeah lots of- so we i have to share that uh, vidya and uh, seema have an incredible uh, uh, you know journey together because you were the judge on uh, the show please please so i met her when there was a audition happening yeah. for mrs india empress of the nation and she was one of the judge along with uh, the main owner who is 
Anjana ma'am, Anjana Maskaran, yes. And there's one more judge also. So she was one of the judges. So what was the most striking thing about Seema that you felt as, as a person and the way she dressed or the way she presented herself? You know, there's a calmness about Seema. Uh, when, when you hear actress, when you hear, uh, you know, National School of Drama and all of that, you feel someone very, you know, with frills is going to, you're going to meet someone like that. You're going to meet a very hoity-toity person or someone very arrogant. Yeah. I, I, not in a bad way, but you know, someone who knows their craft. Of yeah. course, yeah. NSD is not a joke. So if you're, if you're a pass out from there, you're going to yeah. have that certain, you're going to carry that legacy with you. The first thing that was, you know, that calmness about Seema and she was so humble down to earth being uh, an NSG product and then someone being so nice, so humble, so sweet. Um, and I think her sweetness shows on her face. It shows in her character, it shows in her speech when she talks. And also interestingly, when you think of NSD, you generally think of somebody who's very intellectual and who probably will not be interested in fashion, for example, because yes. that's the impression we used to get, that NSD wale very serious minded, we used to call them the jhula ta, jhula wale. Yes. So they don't really care how they dress or how, you know, they're like, no, Nasiruddin Shah and Om Puri. Like we think of those kind of right. people who have come from that background. Yeah. So that is also, I guess, a very interesting contrast. It is, yeah. I mean, you know, because look at her, like, I mean, you know, that very chic hairstyle and, yeah. and you know, very, uh, she's, I think, got a more Western influence, if I'm not I wrong. Love, love uh, that's what, and, and she's comfortable in the kind of clothes that she wears, and it shows. She has the uh, pixie hair of Audrey. Yes, Audrey Hepburn. exactly. You Almost, know, I yeah, mean, yeah. and the way she's carrying it, not everyone can carry it, but she's got that grace from inside. She can carry it from, you know, within. It comes from within. Either you are or you aren't. That's what I believe in. And I think she is. Thank you. You have always experimented, haven't you? You have experimented with your hair. Have you experimented with your hair? Have you ever colored? The first color, I, I used to do mehendi actually. Yeah. When I used to be yeah. in Kolkata because they used to say that if you put mehendi, hmm. in the sense not to have the color, but it's good for hair. Yeah. So I used to do a lot of that. But then after a long time when I came to Mumbai, then one of my friends who is a fashion designer, he started doing fashion and he just uh, came to me one day and say, and nobody used to able to cut my hair properly. He came to me and say that, would you like to come to my salon? I have, I'm starting this, do a color. And he started coloring. And I was a little skeptical, like, you know, how people will take and all. But I said, okay, kar lete hai, ek color. And he did a color, nice. And it was also like, you know, Balayas type color. Right. And cut a little bit short hair and I, I was very happy and I went to Calcutta in Puja and my mama, they were very traditional and they, they didn't even like me because as to your shorts and all, they used to feel that she is from different planet and in front of everyone, I went, Mama, Mama, what did you I was oh my God, in front, you know, so that's my story. So do you have a, do you have a hair raising story too? I have a very funny story actually, not anyone from the family, but I can, I mean, I have two stories like that, huh. but I'll tell you one for sure. Uh, so I was, you know, when you're young, you're very skinny and you, you can wear whatever you want to. So I, I used to wear a lot of uh, uh, razorbacks and ganjis and I was wearing a black ganji again, black being my favorite and I had cut my hair in like steps. I don't know if you all remember, Pyar Tu Ne Kya Kya, Urmila Matonkar had that step cut. So I had that cut it because it was, uh, you know, very in at that point of time and I was walking on MG Road, Main Street of Pune and I was walking wearing very skinny at that point of time, wearing low waist jeans and this belt and this ganji, black ganji and three people from like, you know, I mean these roadside guys, they were standing with peroxide hair and all <laughs> of that and they looked at me like suddenly I hear someone shouting, hey, tyo ba grambo chalai. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, Rambo? Like, are they calling someone? It was me they were calling Rambo. It was me. They looked at me and like, it was the funniest thing I have experienced in you my life. You thought like Rambo? Yeah, they thought I was looking like Rambo. It was, I mean, I didn't know what else to say. I just like, I, I didn't know whether to take it as a <laughs> compliment, whether to bury my head in, in the sand there and die. But yeah, that's what I, call, I got. Tell me, tell me one atrocious fashion style that you like cringe which like i'll for me you know tere naam salman khan yeah matlab it, it was insane that time sare ladke wo pehnte the wo aise bilkul aata tha aur kitne villainish lagte the usme but that was one one fashion i remember which was crazy 
कपड़ों में ऑफ कोर्स रिमेम्बर माधुरी एंड द दीदी तेरा देवर दीवाना कितना वो फेमस वो कपड़ा द द ड्रेस दैट शी वॉज दैट ग्रीन ड्रेस आई थिंक वाज सोल्ड आउट एंड द द पर्पल साड़ी या 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 व्हाट व्हाट डू यू रिमेम्बर गुड एंड बैड बोथ आई थिंक या लाइक यू सेड माधुरी दीक्षित शी वाज एन आइकॉन एंड I think that's where fashion started in India. You know the way that sari got sold out and everywhere, everyone was wearing it. Yeah. From your mommy, chachi to you yourself, everyone in the you know. Many years before that, I would say Sadna. Heka. Oh Sadna yeah, Heka. Sadna Heka. Also Heka. Churidar. Churidar. Yes. Very tight. Which was wearing like this. Absolutely tight. Do you remember that? Yes, I remember. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it yeah. became a fashion thing also in between. People were it wearing this. अभी तो सिगर पैंट हो गया वो. Right. But still, people wear little bit of shorter kurtis and. Yeah. Any other trend that you particularly remember? I think I love the hairstyles. I I'm like a classic person, so I think I love the hairstyles. Asha Parekh ji and you know Sadhna ji, they used to have these have these bouffants and. Yeah, oh yeah, my you know, God! What did you? What did you say? Chhatta? What did you say? Yes, yes. But I love those. You know, chidiyo ka chhatta. What did you say? If if you look at that generation, I think. Sharmila Tagore. Oh my God. Sharmila yeah, Tagore, one of the I mean, fashion icons. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean such an icon and so ahead of her times. So everyone talks about it because it really deserves to be spoken about. You know, I mean, she really set the trend, or she really broke uh, the barrier for uh, you know, Indian women. Absolutely. So, do you believe that uh, you should in following a trend or making one? I think trend also impact you, yeah. and you can't say that now. No, I will not. But I prefer that whether that trend fits in me or not. Yeah. You know, I don't want to wear something which will look. What I saw is beautiful because it is. because of their body types and they have created like that and if i suddenly i suppose you have to wear a two piece right now yeah. would you like to do that after you stop eating ice cream maybe <laughs> <laughs> so similarly i love something beautiful and audrey hepburn yes. i i really wear i have i wear a lot of skirts like she used to wear, used to wear yeah. because i know that fits into me What also you, do you believe in following a trend or, or neither I don't believe in following nor making. I I believe in wearing what makes you or what you feel comfortable in. Because if you're not going to be comfortable, you're never going to look good no matter what brand, what designer, how expensive the outfit. You know, you can wear something worth 200 bucks, but if you are comfortable in it, you'll look like a million bucks. Ek taraf comfort hai aur ek taraf aesthetic hai. Right. Which would you choose? Comfort. Really? Over aesthetics, yes. Yeah. Because if I mean, you know, like I said again, if I'm not comfortable in what I'm wearing, it might look like the most beautiful outfit. But if it's, you know, I mean, something like I'll tell you something as simple as labels. I can wear the most beautiful outfit, but if it it has like that tag or label. आज कोई लड़का suppose you're a young girl or you're a young girl. लड़का आपसे मिलने आ रहा है first date. And the guy believes in the same concept which you're saying comfort. Comfort. और वो बोले कि मैं ऐसी t-shirt और you know shorts पहन कर आ गया. Will you judge him because of that? Because he's used to wearing only shorts and t-shirt, and it's just a casual date. It's not like a yes. date date kind of like a some uh, you know candlelight dinner Agreed. kind of thing. Yeah. Would you then say that ये यार इतना झल्ला बन के आया है या would you say यार थोड़ा तो effort करता मुझसे मिलने आ रहा है? So, no, I would not. Because if he's comfortable, he's going to look good in it. Even if he's wearing shorts and a t-shirt, he's going to look good. See, that's uh, everything is about. I mean, I have couple of friends who. But people do judge. I mean, you. People I mean, do judge, yeah. of course. Like I judge people if they wear unironed clothes. <laughs> okay. I can't, you know, like I mean, a friend of mine had a boyfriend. I mean, her ex-boyfriend. He every time he would come to meet her, and very stylish-looking guy, everything, everything. But he would wear these linen <laughs> shirts, and they would get crumpled by the time he would come to meet her, driving or wherever. I couldn't stand it, and I would keep poking her. What is this? Why don't you tell him? So I gifted him an iron once because I couldn't take it. This is a very good question. Good. So who would you judge? What kind of uh, sartorial choice would you judge? I I also don't judge actually, uh-huh. but I can't. Uh, I I really don't like people are shabby, you know. Even if they're wearing something minimum, you know, but it looks, I mean, you're clean. Yeah, yeah. Clean. I'm okay with that. It has to be clean. I don't go for that whether they're wearing Armani or something. But I just feel that presentation with a because it's not about only your comfort. I'm talking to you. Yeah, I have to. If I, you. <laughs> so, uh, I'm now you're contradicting yourself, huh? No, no. 
I mean, see, it it can't be unhygienic. You can't be. No, you know, okay. I'll give an example. I'll give an example. Suppose you have a guy who's got a very big tone, and he has a T-shirt like that tied up, that he's got a full tone. You've seen that. So, would you consider that to be shabby? Of course, that is shabby because that's not comfortable. You you yourself are not comfortable in your body. You are you're wearing something. Or maybe he just love. He doesn't mind his tone. Arey, but ham to mind karte na. Aap nahi mind karo, bhaiya. Ham ko to mat dikhao. But don't gross other people out. See, you have to be comfortable and you have to look good in what you're wearing, right? I mean, for me, comfort over aesthetics definitely. But for other people, they have to understand that when you're going out or even when you're looking at yourself in the mirror. ठीक है, you are comfortable, but then doesn't mean that you know you can just <laughs> flaunt something that we don't want to see. Like like I said, dress for your body type, you will be comfortable. But when people, if you're a size XL and you're going to wear a size XS, obviously. Okay, what do you think about age? Because that's an interesting point that I have. I remember uh, uh, this one socialite in Mumbai. I forgot her name, and she had she was about 65 or something. She was one of the first that I saw, like a she was about a se- almost 70 plus woman. And she had grey hair, and she had worn this really, really hot skirt. And I remember it being written about in the media that you know, like, oh my God, like you know, like the whole thing about dress right. for your age dress kind of for thing. Your age. So, what do you th- say about that? I don't believe in dress for your age as much as dress for your body, because it, see, even if you're old, okay, but if you can carry it, and if you can, you know, you might be 60, but you, if you have a bikini body, you can carry it, you can wear it. But of course, you're not going to wear. But uh, age for, I mean, dress for your age is is a concept which a lot of people believe in. But I believe uh, dress also for the occasion. You can't be wearing a bikini to a movie theater. Like we were discussing, I think about Priyanka Chopra, who had worn the skirt to when she met uh, PM. Yes. And I remember it being talked about yes. that should she have worn something a little bit more yeah, elegant yeah. or Indian or whatever. So what do you say about that? I think her outfit was completely fine. There was nothing wrong in it. She wore it decently. I mean, of course, if she wore something very revealing, you know, That's where her bosom was out and all of that, then it would have caused an issue. She did not. She was very appropriately dressed, yeah. and okay, uh, a little bit of her, you know, legs, legs were showing, but. We come from the land of Kama Sutra, and we are talking about clothing. I think that's not right. You know, I mean, we should go back to our Indianness and see how forward we've been. I mean, imagine women roaming topless, uh, uh, you know, in in our country forever, and no one like. I mean, the blouse came in when when uh, Kolkata me to blouse ka kuch uh, concept nahi tha. When uh, Tagore uh, Rabindranath Tagore. Which is only uh, like I have. Yeah, no, sa- only yeah. sarees were worn, but unki sister-in-law she was not allowed in a club. and that's when the concept of blouse came in because she was not allowed only in a saree so she started the concept of a blouse because she wanted to get into the club and you know then her sisterhood and her people and she started promoting how to wear a blouse with a saree but otherwise indian women never even wore a blouse with a saree so what are you talking so, so about? tell me you've done such incredible you've done campaigns you've done magazines you've done uh, shows you did this very memorable show with uh, eva daniel i think yes, right yes yes and uh, a fashion show so what was what, what are some of the unique shows that you've done or magazine covers ka ho ya the styling which you remember which is unique mm, i think eva daniel's uh, show was something that i really remember because that was you know it was a disaster and how we pulled it off <laughs> because her clothes got stuck in customs imagine the day of the show oh my god uh, the show was supposed to start at 5:30 in the evening and it started at 7:30 because the clothes did not come from you know how Come on, we have problems in our country. जब तक we don't do certain things, her clothes and you know, for a foreigner to come to this country doesn't know anything, doesn't know. Uh, What was the theme for that? So it was basically it was her spring summer coll- uh, you know collection that she was showcasing, and she was opening a store in India. Again, very fashion forward and not fit for this country. That's why I think it shut down also her store. It ran for two years. She tried but couldn't. You know, I mean. neither the kind of clothes that she was making suited the indian body type and it, i think she was just way too forward for this country at that point of time what about uh, like what you've done like you you style a lot of models for yes. magazine covers yes. anything that you remember there specific i particularly remember the shoot with prachi mishra that we did uh, i mean she's uh, miss india 2012 uh, miss earth and she was uh, you know stunning in this outfit that uh, i had done this was like a black uh, you know i mean um, leotard kind of a thing and a jacket on top of it and we had given her really uh, she had long hair but we had styled it up in like french curls uh, short french curls and she looked stunning so i think that is one of my most uh, memorable outfits that i remember should you listen this is for you seema should you listen to critics 
or should you be individualistic what you believe in it may i mean what they are saying may or may not make sense but should you just do what you feel i would listen to him and if it, if i don't like and it doesn't you know suit my sensitivity i will not uh, wear what he is telling me to wear as simple as that i'll stick to my thing listening to everyone i have a big you know that listening capacity i will listen i will think but i think it's not going to impact that way do you think uh, as a bengali girl and the way my family is and the where my husband's family is do you think that they are quite okay with what i am today but then they adjusted to that but when i go and meet them i wear a salwar kameez that's yes. okay dress for the occasion do you believe that a man should dress like a man a woman should dress like like ek hota hai na wo perception hai hamari society mein we can't pretend ki oh no everything has changed and and there is that perception i i don't think i think um, you know i mean that's not something that i would want to do i think let people wear what they want to wear uh, clothes don't define a man or a woman Uh, look at Ranveer, uh, Ranveer Singh. You know, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then again, you know, you can say that he's in the media, so people in the media do get away with a lot right. more than a regular. Agreed. Now look at this guy called Mark Bryan. Uh, he's an older gentleman, and you can look at his Instagram. He wears high heels. He's a straight man. He's married. He's got kids. Okay, straight. He's he's not, you know, leaning any other way. He's a straight man wearing these high heels, and he's I think six three or six four something. bald guy very well built he wears these short Skirt. tight skirts yes. and he'll wear these 4 and 5 inch heels every single day that's how he dresses and he's very comfortable and it does not define him i remember one of my bosses you know a couple few years back she used to wear extremely like quite like sexy clothes to work and i found it quite distracting at work because generally you don't see corporate right. mein you tend to have a generally a very like you will never see i would say for example news reporter hai right. not going to suddenly see her cleavage of it course. will be distracting it will be distracting. it will be i mean aap chahe kitna bhi bolo ki she should be allowed to wear what she wants you will be looking down there rather agreed, than up agreed. there so she also it was distracting and that's how she liked to flaunt so what do you say about that do you feel that that is now appropriate or inappropriate like i said dress for the occasion hmm Nee, but in their case, they say they feel that is it, not, it is. See, that it's one of those grey areas. No, it's not a grey area. Really? There are there are clothes like like I said earlier also. When you're wear, you're going to wear a bikini to the swimming pool. You are not going to wear it to a party. And if you're wearing it, then you're. So I you mean, think you office made to dress so appropriate? Yes, you have to. It is. What about you? I mean, uh, we discussed about that. That place matters. Place matters. Occasion Definitely. matters. I told. But as she said in her office, in a media yeah. office, it's a little bit. Then if you're going to wear. and you're going to flaunt people are going to look yeah so don't expect people not to look and then then you are looking how do you know someone is looking at you because you are looking at them also yeah and also you know it's like um, you know uh, anirudh today we are talking about few people people will do something like that but cannot that cannot become I, we can't really say that everyone is doing that exactly. there will be few people and they will be always doing something which is may be very appropriate for them yeah and we can't judge them by sitting here but only thing we can talk to people like you said yeah. i always believe that when i'm getting ready to come to you or anywhere i feel that shows how much i respect the other person yes. who is in front of me by making i mean you know showing that i want to do that i don't want you to become uncomfortable and that doesn't so you know serve any purpose what would be the one kind of page a fashion page that would attract your attention uh for me personally i think i'd love to see someone in in clothes that speak grace okay you know i mean that is what i i would look so at. retro fashion retro fashion yeah retro or even classic more yeah vintage would would is what i would go at okay yeah elegance of course and little innovative I love little innovative yeah, uh, like things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Little bit of hatke jo bolte hain hum log na, but not like it, there has to be an aesthetic. Yes. You know that sense of aesthetic with elegance, and I have seen mostly those who are doing this today. Mostly those who are good in fashion, they play with uh, their body types and. Yeah. You know, tell me a trend that you believe has returned in fashion. fashion keeps reinventing itself how for example you know, tell me I mean, something which in the last few years that you remember ki ha ye 20 saal pehle tha aur abhi maine 10 saal pehle fir se dekha hai it could have been there for a short time but hua 
uh, I think polka dots. Yeah. They keep coming back. You <laughs> yeah. know, I mean, suddenly they'll everyone will start hating them, and you know, we can't we can't have them. But I think they're one of the like you know classical classic trends that are always going to stay. But they keep coming back and then going. So I think yeah, that yeah. even yeah. this kind of I was saying that bell bottom bell pants, bottom pants yeah. high waist, high waist was a very classic. Uh, yes, yes, not that time. So that has come back come again. Back. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. How would you define her fashion sense when she was competing for? Uh, for the co uh, competition. Uh, see, with her fashion sense, like I said, you know, firstly that NSD thing where I didn't see her wearing a, you know, just like that jola. And again, they have a very good fashion sense, but it's it's a very typical thing like we traditional. You know, tradi I think her hairstyle would attract me the most because it really suits her face, and then that smile which she always has on her, you know, like I mean, I think that is the best fashion accessory that, I mean, you know, she can uh, anyone can ever have like that smile on your face. So that is what. Is is and she's very particular about her matching her earrings and matching her accessories. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's what I've coordinating. seen. Her. Coordinating. I always. What are your weak? Uh, what are your favorite accessories that you can't do without? Like she said, rings. Uske rings bahut hote hain. I think yeah. I think earrings and ring. For you like me. you like long ones. I love them. Yes. The dripping. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Really. And I and, and I'm very. Quirky in the sense where I can match like an Indian earring with Western outfits or. And hair? Do you play a lot with hair? Uh, not too much. No. I mean, I tried uh, a couple of times. I said, you know, I was telling you all that uh, I tried. Uh, so my cousin's a hairstylist, and I tried coloring my like she's a she's got a salon. So I have light brown hair, and one day I, you know, I really was like I was very fond of Parveen Babi and and yeah. Zena Taman and their hairstyles, you know. So I I I told her once that I want to color my hair black. I want to see how it looks. And she was so upset, but uh, she was like, "No, no, I'm not going to color your hair black." But my aunt, like my mommy, uh, I told her, I said, "Please tell her, so her daughter, you know." So she said, "Just color her hair black. What's your problem?" And she did. And the moment she colored my hair, and you know, after the wash and all that, and she's like, "Now you look like a crow." And look, <laughs> <laughs> look what you've done to yourself. And don't come back to me till, you, till this color's gone. So yeah, I remember that. The Parveen Babi used to have that you know glaze. That, that, that hairstyle. That glaze. So I got yeah. black hair done, and then you know that middle parting and all that. And yeah. she used to wear uh, flowers, which I love yeah, a lot. Yeah. If I don't wear anything, I would wear a flower. I love to wear a flower. Oh, wow. Yeah, that I always do. So I always believe. I always believe that colors have significance for everybody, like a meaning. So I'm going to ask you certain colors. What would that say for you? Okay. So starting with yellow. Bright. Vibrant. Hope. red beauty love okay so for example if a girl wears like a red because red is a very seductive color yes so if a girl was to wear red on a first date would that be advisable or suppose it's just like i don't again it depends on how she's dressed if she's going to be very seductively dressed then yes then whether it's red white blue mm -hmm. doesn't matter yeah, but samaj i gaya. think a red outfit would not matter if it's not very seductive Okay. Yeah. But it's very striking because very it looks striking. very nice yeah. actually. Like for some people, you know, I mean, yellow would be a very striking color. For some people, black would be a striking color. So it depends also on your skin tone. Hmm. Okay. So I don't think red is a problem, but if a guy comes wearing pink today on a date. I mean, if it suits you because a lot of dark people can also carry pink very well. Even I I red. even reds. Like I don't know, but I mean, you know, there is certain I think the undertones in your skin or what certain people can carry certain colors and certain people can't they just can't they're not comfortable in those colors that's what i i believe you know i mean truly yeah, yeah. i mean it, you know we can't go general about okay, all those okay, things white, it's very white white what does white mean for you white fresh purity yeah yeah it's pure i love whites so what does brown mean for you I think brown means classy because I love browns. Yeah. Yeah. Browns, beiges are like my favorites. Again, neutrals and I I have those also. Boring rang lagta hai. Tumhe brown. Ne brown and beige goes very well. Very well. Brown I can wear as a pant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh it means nothing to me actually. I don't <laughs> like brown. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't like brown but then you know I mean western outfits and browns look really good. And depending on the shades also. Shades Dark also. brown I don't like yeah. but other browns are very good. So have you ever held on to something 
which is you know irrespective of your style or do you believe that nahi de dena chahiye after one year or six months no no i can't give away clothes mm. like that or, or even like accessories bags jewelry nothing i am a hoarder to kya karte ho so i will keep it with me yeah yeah uh, unless it stops fitting me mm. eh, because it's oh, you're prospering too much then of course you know if you're going to put on so much weight certain things will stop fitting you that is the only time i give away clothes yeah yeah what about you same but only thing i've noticed very interesting some clothes i buy and then i feel oh i'm not liking it and kept it after so many years when i go there and open the uh, closet and i start taking out those i see that it's fitting now well <laughs> so i don't i don't throw away but these days after covid i started giving away many clothes to people and after that again it becomes so many but i can't throw it away i keep things I'm noticing your nails. You have you have a thing for nails, like nail. What is it? These are called what? Kya nail? Kya? It's just like gel nail paint. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I do. I have this thing for glitter. I think you know, I'm, I'm very, yeah. uh, very honorary Cindy okay. like that. That's what my friends <laughs> say. You know, she's always too much of glitter. So yeah. I, yeah, you all. My nail color is going to be either gold, this glitter gold, or it's going to be red. But mostly uh, this glitter, yeah. yeah. So. But I this looks very really nice. Your your thank fingers you. looks very nice. Thank you, thank. You. So so from today's generation of actors, who would you say that you feel are like fashion icons? Today's generation, of course, uh, Sonam Kapoor. Everyone calls her a fashion icon, and she she truly is a fashion icon. Uh, is an icon, I believe, because she really brought uh, Western fashion to India, and and you know, like I mean, all these designer brands and everything that people speak of now. I think she was the first. a uh, person to do that uh, in in a country like india where we didn't really understand and mm. then she's also now promoting a lot of indian fashion which i i feel is is great you know i mean you go to cans and uh, can and then you promote mm. indian mm. Uh, designers it's, it's a great thing so i think she definitely for me what about you uh, priyanka chopra has gone far away and doing many things which is much larger and bigger but i'm liking this because being an indian the way she has created the whole thing and then you know and now she is like it's like a breaking the boundary moment for her and as well as who else has done that as a as an actor coming from here and going to hollywood and creating that kind of i really love what she does so if you were to define so if you were to define yourself in terms of fashion in one word what would that word be classic yeah yes yours classic ah you can't copy <laughs> दूसरा वाला वो दूसरा नहीं आई थिंक फैशन बट क्लासिक फैशन इज इमोटल इट इज इमोटल सो दे टेल मी योर फेवरेट इंडियन ऑन सॉन्ग दैट यू ओन I I have this linen sari. This yeah. is uh, yeah, it's a, it's a white linen sari with a red and gold border, and it's yeah. gifted by a friend of mine. Uh, and uh, you know when she uh, like I mean. she she gave me that sari and she was like i thought this would look good and i love it like i i i absolutely adore it and i've worn it so many times she's bored of it and she's like i'm going to throw it away you know i can't see you in that sari one more time it's she's gifted it to me but she doesn't wow. want me but i love that yeah so it's red border sari simple that sari from uh, jamdani sarees which is with you know red border yeah and i love pink jamdani which i have already yeah it's very beautiful and i kept those and i wear sometimes of course last may since our show is called seema jiski koi seema nahi to ek cheez fashion ke mamle mein jisme aapki koi seema nahi hota tha aise i mean i like i said i'm a hoarder right like i used to <laughs> so i used to collect shoes and bags but shoes i had around 385 pairs of shoes oh like god rakhte the yes, that's really five yes and trust me like I, and i would keep buying okay uh, but after covid i think something changed in me i don't mm. want to be such a hoarder i don't want to be you know like i mean i think that uh, this this whole time period changed me a lot oh, so oh it changed all so, of us so that is what i think shoes sorry 385 se kam karke kitne ho gaye abhi 80 ho gaye honge yeah wow, you know, 300 to chale gaye i think yeah i gave mm. yeah so yeah. i must have i must so yours is shoes in tumhara mm. saari khareedti hu rakh deti hu <laughs> that's what i do yeah that's it yeah yeah pehente nahi ho Uh, very rare actually yeah, i mean very western no no i wear sarees like durga puja or saraswati puja and of course lots of saree i have to wear for my shoot so yeah. that's okay that's why i just want to be and one way that you that you've 
अगेन सीमाओं की बात करें तो वन वे दैट यू बिलीव इन योर ओन लाइफ दैट यू ब्रोकन द बाउंड्रीज आपने सारी सीमाओं को तोड़ दिया and realize that i'm not happy with it so i've just gone back to doing what i want to do so i i am someone who is a rebel i think that that's hmm. what i'd say because our topic tha how to be a fashion and food influencer so aaj fashion ki baat hui agli baar food ki baat karenge in our next episode yeah. and bilkul khul kar kyunki seema jiski koi seema nahi Did Vidya Tiwari's wisdom on fashion hit the spot? Now it's your turn. Grab your phone, strike a pose, share it on social media, tag us, and let's create a ripple in the influencer universe. Your style, your taste. It's time to shine. <laughs>